Hello to all my lovely viewers. I'm Marianne, Yachty Crafter. Welcome to my channel. And just about when I started this video, I've got a neighbor there starting to hammer something. Um, they're doing some renovations. It's two doors down, Ashley. So I hope uh, that doesn't come, and thro come through um, too loudly in the video. <laughs> They've had all day to do it and then they waited till lunchtime. <laughs> Anyway, never mind. I hope you're all in a crafty mood today because we're going to be making this little uh, floating pocket. Uh, this one is for the Bohemian Journal. And I wanted to, because it's almost the end of the month, I wanted to use up some of my lovely scraps that I have. So I thought, well, one great way to do that would be to make a floating pocket and to add some, uh, this is the back, and just cut up all the little panels and attach them to the pocket to uh, to um, highlight all the little different flip, flips and flaps of this pocket, uh, which is not just one pocket. I think there's about one, two, three, four, five pockets in all. So um, I wouldn't want to put any more in there. <laughs> so, but anyway, and this is a little flip up as well, so you could little have a little tuck spot under there. I didn't put anything under there, but you could quite easily. Oops, this is, doesn't really go with it, but you could stick something under there as well. But that's a little far too big. But anyway, something like that. Anyway, I will show you through this little prototype, and uh, then we'll get to making one. So I've just got a little bow here to keep it all closed. And I'll take all these out. This is just a little journal card I made. As I said, there's a little flip up. And this is a little tuck spot here. Open it up. This is a flip up. And you've got some journaling card in there. This is another pocket. And I just put a journaling card in that one. And then we open this up. And there's a big journaling card there. And here's another little tuck spot. And I just tuck some more journaling um, space in there. So I'll put those aside so you can see... Uh, what it's made of it's i've made it on uh, a coffee paper base so very simple and this is the other side uh, and i'll take this little um, card out there so you can see it all so that's what we're going to be making uh, it's very simple so i'll put this one aside and uh, later on i'll show you where i'm going to put it in my bohemian journal so I'll put all that aside for now and all these things because we're not going to be using these papers. What I started with is, as I said, one sheet of copy paper and um, this way around. <laughs> so I just left it uh, as is and I decided I wanted to break it up in three panels but because this is an odd sh um, size, not an even uh, size I decided the easiest way to do that would be to fold this sheet in half and press down the halfway point like so and then I got my ruler out and I went to the halfway mark and I marked two inches on either side or five centimeters the top and the bottom so that gives me my midway point and that way uh, it's You'll know it's even and these flaps here won't be quite as wide as these and then on the sides here these are going to fold up here to make a bottom pocket and I did that about uh, two and a half inches tall or just over uh, about six and a quarter centimeters high and then it's a matter of folding this up to that line and I mark it on both sides you can just eyeball it if you uh, are good at uh, <laughs> um, making things straight but I'm not so then you've got these two lines here and I just go ahead and do it on like that and then this one here this is will be the bigger panel uh, because we're going to be making this flap and this one with a smaller panel so I don't have it I don't um, there's a little mark there so you don't want it going over to the edge here, right on the edge, because then these flaps won't sit down flat when you close them over. So you want them on that line or next to that line. 
it doesn't matter so it doesn't matter if they don't go all the way over so mark that down and you can see already <laughs> I've got a little flap going up but uh, make sure it's all nice and straight and then the next fold will be we're going to be folding this one this fold will be coming down like this but don't have it all the way to the bottom just have it close to the bottom of the uh, the pocket so you want to leave a little bit of a gap here and the same with these I think I just made it and I now I can't remember what I did where is that pocket okay I'll get my little prototype out to see what I did Ah, uh, that's right. I mark. I turned this flap over. It's like this. This is your two and a half centimeter flap here, which I can't fold out because it's glued down. So two and a half. You can have it going down further, and I think I made this one about. It's a two inch, and these are two and a half inch. So that's about two inches or five centimeters. So you want. You may want to mark it like I'm going to do. Um, it doesn't really matter where you go and then I go up to this point I'll turn that over find my little mark line and then go to this point just beside this fold here it's not going to be right on the fold just next to the fold just a tad next to the fold and you want this here I rule this line down it might be easier to see um, where the fold line is there we go so there it makes it easier to see uh, I might move you in as well so you can see where I fold that this is the fold line of this back panel so I've marked that you don't want this edge on that line you want it next to that line otherwise when you fold this over it's going to get caught on that line uh, in that fold and this will all bend over so that's what you wanted to avoid so that's why we put it next to that line and the same on this side as well and this one here is going to be this pocket is staying here so this is where you want to make your fold from here to here and once again you want to turn it over on that edge so it's above the pocket line and also next to that other one there so this one won't go over quite as far because we have that pocket so you just let it uh, go where it wants to go virtually so it'll be on a slant a slant 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 whatever you like to call it like this you can see this one goes straight down along that edge this one slanted over because we've got that pocket uh, we're going to be gluing down so it can this flap can't go down below this pocket edge uh, you can also if you didn't if you wanted to have a tuck on this side you could do exactly the same uh, have this coming down straight um, instead of at an angle and not glue this part in that's up to you but that's the way um, I've designed this uh, so I'm going to stick with that for now so that's basically uh, the shape uh, we're making and now it's a matter of uh, picking out papers and that and I'm going this time I'm going to go with a bit of a, a, a green theme oh sorry I'll move you out again so you can see there we go now you can see uh, yes these papers here I'll be using um, and the way I um, as you saw before I was using my scraps and that's a bohemian theme with all those reds and golds and whatnot so what I tend to do with these because you're going to be um, attaching panels of paper to them I mean you could do that all in a book page or just the one paper if you want to but to do it the way I've done it and I've got different papers here I 
the one, the easiest method I know to choose your papers is to go and grab all the ones that you think papers that would possibly uh, match up and uh, coordinate with each other. So that's where my starting point is. And then from there, I like to start, turn these flaps out and I like to start on the outside and we're going to be do it here so you can see these panels here we're going to have three panels this is the only one that's going to be a full panel because you've got these pockets so this panel doesn't have to go under these pockets it can just go a little way under so you can't see the bare paper so uh, so for these three panels I've um, using this paper the text paper and the easiest way so I just measure here and I just leave a little border you can see that um, just a tiny little border of that paper the backing paper around the edge just to create a decorative edge for those so I cut the panels out to put on here and for some reason they're not uh, the right size but never mind I'll adjust that so those will go on here and uh, while we're doing this it's very important to make sure you have these creases uh, well and truly uh, in place uh, because when you do fold you would need to know where they are when you do attach your papers so that's very important so this one I also go ahead and mark at the back here I've got left so I know this is left side so when you flip it over this will be the left and this will be the middle because it's got nothing on the back and here I put right and that's on here it also helps you with papers that uh, are difficult to know which orientation so make sure your orientation stays the same way it's good to mark it in the same place so those three will be attached to there glued there and that's those ones and then for the back there I got a little birdie image so that was quite cute to go in there so that's kind of a decorative element and then on each side this will be the full panel because you'll be seeing part of that when you turn that flap over so that will go on that edge and I try to match uh, get coordinated papers that I think um, will work nicely together on those three panels and then these down below so that's what I've got for there so it all uh, matches up you could use all kinds of you know different types of paper you might want um, I, my uh, I'm doing this it's like a, a, to give it a grungy look but you could do you know um, whatever you want on there <laughs> you don't have to do exactly mine if you don't want to do a grungy look um, you're quite free to do you know choose your own papers but that's what I'm doing and then on the front here but you'll see these when you turn these flaps down you'll see this uh, you know will be on here and this one will be on here and then uh, for the back I thought I'd get a book page with some uh, because it's a bit of a botanical or nature theme I decided to put an image on the back there so that uh, will when you close this over that will show through or part of it will show through so uh, that's what we're going to do now so if you want to cut these out as I said this middle panel I've made this panel four inches it's still four in, yeah four inches or ten centimeters and now it's um, of course if you're uh, using um, this is for an A4 size so you'll have to just adjust the uh, um, measurements if you're um, using the uh, the what do you call it the American standard copy paper um, so this one is about uh, five and three quarter inches high and as I said the pockets two and a half inches or that's in centimeters it's roughly about 14 and three quarter centimeters tall so um, and then I cut the panels out and of course I leave a, a tiny border around the edge 
and then it's a matter of first of all I glue this part down and get that out of the way so we'll do that now that's glued down and I can see I cut it a little bit short um, I didn't want such a border but never mind you're not going to see that very <laughs> terribly much and then I can turn this over and I'll fold this flap down and I put these panels on first because you might want to um, where all the folds are um, I'm not going to be doing it now I could do it later but you might want to go and ink around all those edges if you're going to leave a border so it gives a nice frames the uh, the pockets and the pages and especially this bottom one uh, before you glue it shut because <laughs> this uh, these pockets we glued these are the only pockets that will be glued shut uh, when we're finished so the top edge is more important and I uh, I don't do these edges because they're going to be covered over so that's the other one and this one here you could do the top edge here because you'll see that one um, and I think that's all and I don't do the inside here because these we left blank I'm leaving these blank uh, for uh, journaling space so I don't want uh, a uh, ink <laughs> line in the middle of my journaling space uh, but uh, you know you might want to do that anyway we'll get on with this so that's just uh, some things you might want to do first I've done that edge and uh, that's all I have to do now I can do the rest later on so make sure I do get all those edges and I'm using some uh, moss green no I'm not beg your pardon I'm using forest moss distress ink and uh, I've had that and I haven't used it <laughs> at all. I've had it there for months and uh, so I decided it's time to use it and I thought it was a bit darker than that. Well it is pretty dark but uh, I, I actually love the colour. So I've already gone ahead and inked around all these edges. Uh, the other thing for inking these edges is that it shows you where to put these panels helps you to easily line these panels up in the middle of, of each panel on the pocket so start gluing all these panels in okay so far so good we've got these panels down and the middle one and now it's a matter of folding these up and gluing these ones on okay lucky I <laughs> just remembered <laughs> I nearly did again oh you can see here um, we're attaching some ribbon and uh, I forgot to do this bit last time so this panel is fine so I'll put that down <laughs> but uh, I think the dark no yes that's the right way up now it's going to be extra sticky because it's tacky at the tacky stage that's okay so glue that one down and this one and I forgot to do this one here too, so I'm going to have to peel this up luckily it uh, hasn't dried so to put the ribbon on I measured one inch up from the bottom of this pocket here made a mark so it's one inch or two and a half centimeters that's one there and then the next one is here so one half one inch sorry and that will go on there so I'm going to use the fabric glue and I and pick out some ribbon which I've got here some green ribbon this is a little bit long um, and I don't think it's going to oh yes it'll be long enough to do the two that's good save it on ribbon 
I don't understand why I didn't remember to do this one. <laughs> and I just remembered to do that one. Anyway, doesn't matter. Just not too late. So get some fabric glue and glue this on. Get it in there as far as possible. And then I'm just going to use the fabric glue to re glue that panel down. You can see it's hanging out the side there of that big panel. And then we fold this up so that when these get folded over, this is where the ribbon comes out to match this one, in case you got a bit lost there. So this ribbon has to go this way, like so. So we'll glue that down. There you go. You got that in. I like to leave these um, panels to dry before I start turning them over just so that they don't move and that's why I, I said it's a very important to make sure you have your creases uh, well and truly um, creased <laughs> so you can fold them over now and don't worry about that little bit here because that this is the panel that's going to fold down this way so it's this one here that's the important one you don't want if you're going to keep that pocket the same way as I'm going to keep it you want to make sure it doesn't go below this pocket edge so that's all these over of course if you've got a bone folder mine's pretty tacky at the moment it looks disgusting but uh, never mind and so this is how our pocket looks, our pockets, I should say, not just one pocket. This is how it's looking so far, and this is the back. So I think that's quite pretty. And then the uh, next thing I'm going to do is these edges here, just to uh, make them pop off the page a bit, or off the pockets a bit. I've added some lace here and some gold trim. So I've got some, I did have some nice green uh, lace or braid, but somehow I can't find it. Oh, we should uh, fold this one over now. It should be dry enough. So that completes the pockets and the tucks and the flaps. <laughs> and then um, I usually get a piece of plastic or something rather and stick under here. So that I don't get glue everywhere and move it to the side like that so that's glue um, plastic under here so when I put the glue along this edge and I've got some trim here um, we can do that and then that one there so I might do that now make sure that nice and neat and of course um, if you've seen my videos before you'll know I like to use the ruler to press the fabric glue down sometimes it does lift off because the glue gets stuck to it but this time it, it worked so that's good and then I like to leave that to dry before we do anything else um, oh, with those edges so there we go that's what that looks like so now you're wondering, you've got this little triangle here, what are we going to do with that? Good question. <laughs> and I've got a little panel here and the way I did this, you can't really see what I did here because um, the button and the flower is covering it up. But I like to have this on the angle here um, because it is facing this way. You could just do it straight if you want to, a little panel there of some kind. I'm going to use this one because I think um, it just um, makes it look, uh, lighten it up a little bit and gives it a bit of contrast. So the way I, easiest way I find is I put this along that folded edge along there and then make sure I get it straight along there and I flip that up and then I get my pencil and I draw along the edges there on both sides. 
and then get my scissors and cut this out and I cut it out on the inside of the line not quite on the line just below and be good if I could see what I'm doing and then I cut a little bit off the end like that and then I um, turn it over <laughs> and it should leave a, a little edge a, a border around that little flap you can see that um, if it doesn't I just keep cutting it down a little bit till it does and then of course uh, we're using green so I'll get rid of my glue and ink up that edge I think I've done many pockets on my channel I'll have to go back and have a look I can't remember <laughs> that's okay I can't remember what I did yesterday half the time never mind so this glue should be uh, dry now on this lace so I can trim that off turn it over and trim it off and there we go that's the base so now it's just a matter of decorating this little panel here and I've got a couple of things that I've got ready to do that. I've got this out of a piece of paper um, which had that on the back. So I just put that on the back and I can attach that there and put a little butterfly up the top there. So that's one option that I was thinking of. Or then I've got this little tag here that uh, I put some paper on the back there because you will see we'll be attaching this to this um, flip up and the uh, the only problem with the flip up is you need to if you want to have it as a flip up you need something that you can do a flip up so it can't really go above there so that was the only problem <laughs> with that so um, if you don't want to use it as a flip up you can just use it as a tuck this is one way of keeping it closed is to put something like that on so it will still be a tuck so you can tuck a little tag in there so that's what I'm going to do and I don't know whether I still don't know whether to put that on there or the little tag um, so, so I've got that option there which I quite like I think I like that one the best but I do like this one as well so I might glue this little tag on here and then we need to glue these flaps down don't we so is that one and then the one in the middle I just do it in the middle of that seam and that's it because you don't do that one it's just those three one three there and close them up Now, as I said, if you wanted this the same as that as a tuck spot, then you wouldn't be gluing this one closed either. You'll be keeping that one open. Okay, dokey. So while it's open, um, I'll just pop in a few little tags to show you how it works. Um, pop one in there, and that one will fit in there. So you've got that. You turn it around, and I'm just going to pop something in there. And I think I got them all filled now. <laughs> one, two, three, and one on the back, four. And then you've got one, two, three tuck spots. So it's four pockets and three tuck spots. Or oh, this is really a tuck spot, you could say. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to quiver over semantics. There we go. And it's all finished. And of course, uh, I've called this a floating pocket. But of course, if you wanted to attach it to the page, you wouldn't put on these back panels and you would close this flap up, you glue it down and then you can glue the whole thing to a page. Uh, then um, it will stay in there permanently. But the one I've made for this journal, here I haven't put all the little tags in, I'm going to attach it with 
one of these hidden paper clips that uh, we made in a in a tutorial a little while ago. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. You can go check that one out. But for now, I'll slide that on inside there, and that can tuck down, and it's got a little dangles and that off it, which will uh, sit above. So there we go. There's our little pockets, and. Uh, if you like um, these little pockets, please um, give it a thumbs up in uh, below and please leave a comment and let me know uh, which one you like the best. And uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be bringing lots more videos for us to, to work on um, with tutorials, <laughs> showing you some more techniques that you can do in your own journals. Uh, so anyway, for now, I will say uh, have a happy crafty day everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.